I mean, it was an extremely volatile situation, leaving a house in flames, the homeowners injured, and a stranger at odds with police. Tonight, newly released body camera footage shows the response from officers as being heralded by the Centerville Police Department. News specialist Andrew Adams is live with the story tonight. Andrew? Now, specifically, they're naming Officer Alex Farns, who was wearing the body camera. In the video, you'll see that officer go to great lengths to get the homeowners out, as well as clue in other officers at a very tense time. Long before the fire consumed this home, flames as high as you can see. Police had their hands full getting everyone out. Is he still in there? there? Yes, there's people in there. Centerville officers had responded on the report of a home invasion, and as one officer wearing a body camera went around back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is there anybody else in the house? The homeowners confirmed the guy who broke in still was there, and he could be heard in the audio. Instead of immediately engaging the man, the officer escorted the couple to safety. Let go of the door, you've got to walk. As investigators later found out, the man still inside had allegedly broken in, assaulted the couple, and started dumping gasoline everywhere, saying he'd burn down the house if they didn't give him money. Gray shirt, black shorts, bald facial hair tattoos. Officers still had to deal with that guy. Get out of the garage! And it didn't take long for a struggle to ensue. Officers, though, showed tireless patience, eventually pulling the man to safety. He was possessed, whether it was with drugs or the devil or whatever, but I feel bad for him. As the homeowners come to terms with what happened, police commended the work of their own to resolve a dangerous situation. I am extremely proud and honored at what my officers did. Well, also after what happened here last month, charges have been filed against the suspect identified as Adam Jacob Woodhead. Seven of those 12 charges are first degree felonies, including aggravated attempted homicide.